Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and this is part two of this, what I'm calling wall art with a font. And if you didn't watch the first one, I made a video, someone asked how I did it. So you can go back there and watch this. It's, it's, there's an S through here. This is at my daughter's house that I made uh, six years ago plus. But anyway, I thought I'd add this. I stated in that video that it took me a long time to reconstruct that, but I did this square like in a minute. And I think I started off with X3 and now with X7 and above, and if you're fortunate to have it, this is a font and, it's, and it is cool, but it's got some jagged edges. You know, that, well, like here's a bad spot. You know, that's going to double cut out. So if you have X7 or above, you can use this, the smoothing tool that will smooth out stuff like that. You click on that item and it already got rid of that bad spot. And then whatever you hit with blue, it's going to, it's actually changing the line to, to blue, letting you know you cleared it out or you cleaned it up. So let's just take this particular item. And that's one thing neat about this. You can move things around. It's going to be your drawing. But let's take these two pieces. Let's make a duplicate of it. This is the way it looks. And here's with the smoothing tool. I'm going to use a smoothing tool. I'm going to click on it. But then I'm going to smooth over it. Look at the difference between the two drawings. In that quick. So, eight, six years ago, I didn't have that. I had to manipulate all these nodes by hand. So, that's what really took so long. So, X7 and above, the smoothing tool, pretty cool. Anyway, hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.